Hey, so today I'm just going to cover uh, my get HP docs update details function. Uh, it's kind of a long name for function. If I were to go back, I'd probably redo that, but whatever. Um, so in this test, I've got a HP USB-C dock generation 5. Uh, you can see that it's got 1.0.16 installed and there's a newer version so i'm gonna just quick video what it looks like when you are doing uh the staging so like completely behind the scenes your end users never know and part of this demo is gonna seem weird um but i'm just gonna get it started here and show you so we're gonna uh my function has already been loaded into the computer so now I'm kicking it off. Um, this here just takes a few moments and it goes. So, and I should have uh, done the transcript um, parameters so that you could have seen what was going on. So I'll probably run it again here. Uh, I'll go through and I'll show you like some of the nuances of doing a stage versus actually updating it real time. Because like when you update it real time, it's going to impact your user, but then it's done. So all right, uh, it it staged the thing, and now it's saying success. Let's go try to look at some of the logs here. Um, I am saving the logs out to the doc firmware folder. Um, let's see, uh, one five zero four five five is the correct soft pack for this. So let's go dig in there. It creates a couple of files when it's in use. So here's, um, it will first detect and let me know uh, with this check file which version is currently installed. So here it tells me uh, 1.16. So you can see that is where that number came from. And now the release notes here, it's telling me um, all the stuff that's going on with this. Uh, and you can see the output will be success, which is what uh, we got when we ran the staging of the firmware. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's head back here. Um, we'll just run it again, and you can see uh, you would. Some of you might think like, "Oh, it should be Shane 1.0.20 now," but it's not because it's only staged. It's not actually updated. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. It doesn't hurt to run it and stage it again, but this time I'm just going to run it with the transcript uh, parameter so you can see what's going on. And here it's telling you that it's already downloaded that soft pack. It's getting the information from the XML. Um, let's go open device manager so we can see. So typically what I do for is I look um, network adapters and then I know the Realtek USB is the dock. Um, that's one of the options. So I'd like to just keep that up so I can see what's going on. If you watch my other demo, you'd see that disappearing and coming back like a ton of times during the update. So here you can see the update was successful. The firmware is staged. So what I'm going to do, and sadly I can't show this, so I'm just going to um, pull the plug from the dock here in a moment. And as soon as I can wrap, unwrap this cord... <laughs> Um, this is one a webcam would have been more humorous for you. All right, so I yanked the cord here, and you can see that um, that network adapter has disappeared. Now, if you could actually see my dock, there is like a little LED button on the top of the dock that is used for like um, it's basically the power button. So if you have your laptop shut and you want to turn it on. You can just push that button on the dock and it will boot up your your laptop. Um, but And the LED is also lit up then when your laptop's on as like an extra power button. But what is happening right now is the LED is flashing a bunch. And so that way I know the firmware is running. And once it stops flashing, uh, the firmware update will be complete. And once it's done, so this does take a few minutes for it to go through everything and once it's done I will reconnect it and you'll see it show up and then we'll do another scan so um, 
hopefully this won't take a whole lot longer because this is where I got to start like filling time with rambling. Um, depending on when you're watching it, MMS is this week coming up. So I'm packing for that. This is just a last minute demo for completely separate reason from MMS. <sighs> but it should be getting close here. And then I will reconnect it. Yep. So I'm not great at filling voids, as you can see. All right. Um, let's reconnect it here. You can see it showed back up. We'll do another scan. And yay, it's updated. So what you can see is that from this process, you can update the doc completely silent to end user. You stage it out there, and then when they leave or when they disconnect their doc, it will do the firmware update after they disconnect. And it takes about two to three minutes. Um, so like if you're doing hot hotel stations or, or conference rooms, um, it can update it while they're in there. And then when they leave, it will update the actual firmware after they disconnect. And that's how that feature works. It's really handy because it does not impact the end user whatsoever. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you later.